30 degree bend. Today we talk about it. This is the most widely used bend in all of electrical, plain and simple. It's the easiest one to remember. Remember we're bending four inch offset. I think we pretty much talked all about everything we can talk about, so we just have business to do. So how do we do the four inch offset 30 degree bend? Well, let's talk about it, all right? What does the cosine chart say? Four inch offset, right? Four inch offset, the multiplier is times two. So we know we need a four inch offset. So four times two is eight. Can you remember back to last week when we saw the 22 degree bend, how many how much space was between the bends? Do you remember? Give you a second. While, while you're thinking about that, contemplating, I'm gonna mark my first mark. Do you remember what else? If you can remember what else I told you about how far I come back on this pipe, give me a thumbs up. That way I know you guys are following along. So, did you give me the thumbs up yet? All right, I always come back two inches. Now, since you remembered, this is your first time here. Think about subscribing, it'd be great because there's gonna be a whole lot more of these videos. So we have a four inch offset, the multiplier is two. So four times two is eight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our tape measure right here at the end of the mark and we're gonna put our other mark at eight inches. All right, we're gonna go around in a circle. Now I'm not a very good circle drawer. You can put a piece of tape on there if you want to because more than likely tape will be straight, but you know, this ain't the Taj Mahal we're wearing here. But you'd want to treat every job and every piece of conduit that you do bend or every house you go to and it is that it is the Taj Mahal because, right? All right, so what we got to do is go over here to our ugly floor. We're going to bend. Our arrow goes right here. And the other arrow goes right here when we bend. Now, if you followed along, you already know what I'm talking about. Remember. I did ride the chicken and you'll see what I'm talking about when I get over there. Don't make fun of my floor either. Tell you what, it'd sure be nice to be riding this motorcycle. What? Man, no chicken leg jokes, man. All right. What are we gonna do? Remember what I told you about this bender? On the top, it has a notch. Not this notch. This notch. That notch represents that arrow right there. All right, if you don't remember that, then give me a thumbs up anyway. All right, we're gonna put our Line, and we're our first line, two inches back. We're gonna put it right on that notch or the arrow. Let me keep it in the frame here. Because that notch, there's two notches on here. We're not gonna worry about this notch right now, but we will. We will definitely talk about this notch later. But this one right now is we're talking about, the very first one, which is really the arrow. All right, we're gonna pull, oh, first thing we gotta do, hey, you guys almost let me slip on that one. We have got to pull this piece out. This is pretty important stuff here, guys, and you're not even paying attention. Remember, this inside has marks and it has all of the degree marks in there. 10, 20, 30, so on and so forth. We gotta snap this one into the 30 spot. So let me go ahead and let's see if we hear the click on this one. We should. Oh yeah. Now we're at 30. All right, let's do it. Now that you guys have paid attention enough and you reminded me that I was in the wrong spot, let's bend her. All right, we're gonna pull this down until it touches this right here. All right, let's do it. All right, we're gonna put this down. We're gonna slide it down. We're gonna put that next mark. We circled all the way around. We're gonna spin the pipe. Hear that dog barking next door? We got some new neighbors. They like to, uh, they like to bark at whatever. So I love them. All right, we want to make sure everything looks pretty good. All right, let's bend her. All right, we are down at the, at the spot, the stopping spot. Let's take it over there and uh, see what happens. Here she is now. Believe it or not, even though it, I did pause it, I haven't put it up against the uh, four inch 10 degrees, so let's see what happens. All right. And it looks, Looks a little higher. Oh, I know why, it's rolled. There we go. 
Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, do you guys see what's going on here? Do you see the real estate? This is the ends of the pipe right there. Do you see how much difference is from a 30 degree to a 10? Let's put the 22 up here and see what it looks like next to all these. All right, here's the 22 and here's the 30. I don't know if I have enough room on this two by four or not, but we're gonna sure try. You guys see what I was talking about here? How the 10 degrees started with all this real estate and here's your 22 back here. And instead of the 30 is getting even closer to your obstruction. Now, this is, this one will be harder to pull wire through than this one, obviously, right? Because the less degrees you have to pull through is the less uh, resistance. This has got to be more resistance because you have two 30 degree bends here. So you have 60 degrees right here. You have only 20 in this. So, I mean, two and two makes four guys. I hope that is bringing some light to you. The next video will be the 45 degree bend. I mean, look at the difference guys. I mean, it's pretty crazy, right? Can you, you can see, I think, but pretty nuts. That's what she said, huh? All right, let me put this down and finish this video. This one here is gonna be a, a quick one, obviously, because, I mean, I'm surprised it didn't fall. Because, I mean, there's not really much to say. We've already said everything in the first two, first two videos, so. Um, but you can see how with everything shrinking down, like I said, you need to make sure that you stick with this episode because we are gonna be building with these conduits here. So, one thing you forgot to tell me, guys, you gotta be on the ball. I mean, this is now the third thing that we forgot to talk about. We need to write 30 degrees on here. I'm getting ready to fire you guys because you're not, you're not paying attention. I'm actually running out of room. So this one's 30 degrees. All right, 30 degree. We will use these guys as we go on with this video series, like I keep mentioning, because I think they're gonna get better as they go. You're gonna start visualizing what I'm talking about as we progress further in this episode, these episodes rather, and you guys will understand what I'm talking about and you can apply this to everything. Mind this camera though. Okay, so up to this point, if my content is giving you guys any value, make sure you smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe if you're new here, and if not, then subscribe anyway. Uh, if you wanna see how to bend a four-point saddle video, right beside me there'll be a video coming up. I will see you there on that video, and we can talk about how to bend a four-point saddle. If you wanna see what happens next, make sure you like and subscribe, God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.